Are you a new welder and when you're welding, it just feels wrong? Stay tuned, I'll show you why. So when you're a new welder, you just don't know what the correct amperage should be set on your machine. So for an example, I have a 332 7018 welding rod right here. If you were to Google it, Google's gonna say anywhere from 75 to 95 amps, but not all machines are the same, nor is everybody welding on the same thickness of metal. So you need to learn how to read the puddle. But what is reading the puddle? So when you're welding, you got this hot liquid molted metal forming when you're welding. Now, if your amps are too high, what's gonna happen is, is your puddle's gonna get really wide and you're gonna have little buckshots flying everywhere. Now, if your amperage is too low, your weld is gonna be really, really narrow and it's gonna stand up really tall and you're gonna have a way more chance of sticking if your amps are too low. Now that we got that out of the way, let's make a weld where the amperage is too low. Now looking at the weld with my amperage too low, it's gonna be hard for me to get it started. I'm gonna be sticking a lot. Now, once I get it running, what's gonna happen is you're gonna notice my puddle is really, really narrow and it's standing up really tall. So that is a very good indication that my amps are too low. Now looking at the consistency of our weld, it's really goopy, but what you don't want is really, really watery. You want it to be somewhere in between that. So what does in between look like? The width of your puddle should be at least two of these welding rods put together. So now let's look at our weld when our amps are too high. You're gonna notice that it's too wide and you're gonna see a bunch of spatter laying right next to the weld. That's because our amps are too high. So our puddle was really, really watery. So what you need to do is you need to dial back your amps. Now I like to go at least three to five at a time until your puddle gets to be about the width of two of your welding rods. Now let's look at the consistency of this weld with the correct amps. You're gonna notice that it's not too wide. It's about the same thickness of two of these welding rods. There's not a lot of splatter around it, but it's not really narrow and tall. And the consistency is not too watery or not too thick. It's just right. Now that I've demonstrated what a well looks like with your amps too low, with your amps ideal, and with your amps too high, now you don't have to Google it. You've just learned how to read the puddle. Until the weld cools, keep it hot.